Hi everyone, it's SK95. Welcome back to more Skyward Sword HD. Last time, we got into the Nairu Mining Facility. I should point something out to everyone because you probably will notice. I am not using the Joy-Cons. Yeah, unfortunately... Joy-Con control was getting very, very awkward to do and it was exhausting to constantly switch around the controls. It's a lot easier to move around and do stuff of Joy-Cons, but honestly speaking, I need to try the new controls out, and this is the best way to do it. Bomb that to enemy, so because we need to get through this dungeon. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There it goes. Da, she blows. Now, let's get the gust spells out. Alright, so, a trick to know about this area that you want to keep an eye out is the map. Pay attention to where this area is because this is where the safe zone is. So walk through this way and you notice you won't sink. Just keep an eye out where you walk. It's technically recommended to do so. And there we go. Now we crawl this way and push this out. Oh, enemy. Die. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Thank you. Good grief. That was scary. <laughs> crawling, 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 crawling. Ah, crawling in Zelda games. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of the Wind Waker version because that's hilarious to see him making sounds while crawling. Open this chest that contains something very nice inside. This is a. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's random, but Goddess Plume... I'm having weird luck today. First was my recordings of Xenoblade at the same time as this. Okay, so it's a lot more it's finicky when it comes to moving around. However, the problem I have with this control style is because of the accuracy of the controls. And as well as the fact you have to flick it in order to do swing controls, especially here. This is why I wanted to point out how awkward the pro controls can actually be. Because a lot of an understanding is people think, oh, the pro controls are so much better. No, it's significantly more awkward because this game was built for the motion controls. So, I'm going to switch back to the motion controls. See you all in just a second. Ah, uh, so much better. Yeah, I prefer motion controls because this is how the game is supposed to play. Because you actually control the camera without having to hold ZL. So, as before, minus, check the map. Also, in case you're wondering about pro controls, I'd recommend to make sure... Bombs. A mist. A mist. There. By the way, two, two enemies can die if there's a bottomless pit or a quicksand, so keep an eye on that. Oh, no. Okay, that's it. That's it. You died. There we go. Everything is now dead. -ed. Okay, good. We're safe. For now. Get the bomb ready, because we need to throw this at the other annoying enemy. Over here. You actually want to throw it like that, so that way it's easier to get rid of the enemies. Because the enemies will eventually crawl into wrong places very easily. So let's gust spell this again. And like last time, of course, stupid, annoying enemy. So, keep an eye on the map, because you want to actually go across this area completely. So, let's go left, like the map's telling us. Because the game gives us the map early on, and makes it easier for us. Let's go this way. Be careful when using stamina in the crawl space, by the way, because it's actually very stamina exhausting. Unlike other games where you have plenty of stamina, a.k.a. Breath of the Wild, because you can upgrade that. Technically speaking, you only get the one bar. And look where we are. Another room, a lot of sand. Blow the gust spells at this. You're going to have a lot of fun trying to blow everything out. Funnier thing to do. <laughs> I love doing that. It's hilarious, actually. Pottery won't move unless you actually hit it on something, so keep an eye out. Alright, there we go. That was enemy. There we go. Another one. 
Okay, good. That's dead. You want to keep an eye out where the ground is, because otherwise you'll get spiked for it. And spiking, technically, you take a good amount of damage for it. Keep an eye out, by the way, in case you see a ruby, because if you actually hit a ruby with a gust spell, it will actually block the entire gust spell up. Meaning, you cannot blow anything off. It actually is very annoying. Trust me. A fairy. I don't need another fairy. Okay. By the way, in case you're worried that I'm using a, not getting the fairies, well, point us out, fairies lose their efficiency to a certain degree because they revive you with full HP, but they also generally are not overly needed. There. Die, enemy. There we go. Now, I'll gust spell this again. Because you're going to have to be going for that treasure chest because it's actually decently worth the effort. Alright, there we go. No, no, no. Hey, buddy, where are you going? 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 Push this down in order to open the gate. You actually have to go this way. There we go. Got for you. No problems here. Enemy down. Enemy push. Enemy push. Enemy push. Enemy push. Push, push, push. Pushy, 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 pushy. Pushy penguins. <laughs> you play Mario Party, you understand. There we go. Red ruby. Decently worth it. We have capped out our rubies. We cannot get any more rubies. And that is actually very sad because that means we got to burn through them. Once we leave, we will actually do that. So, let's go out through this door. Hit. Lift. Yes. Lift. Blow this to see a minecart. But there's even something more important than just a normal minecart. That switch will do nothing. However... You see a time shift zone inside. Poke it. By poking it, it actually causes it to appear. However, it also means you cannot rush ahead. Just keep an eye out where you are so that way you don't fall off the ledge. Because it's actually big enough so that way you can't actually fall off the ledge. Now, there's another warning an ask risk. Remember this enemy? Well, guess what? He's back. Denied. In case you're wondering if you can actually destroy these in some other way, you cannot. Gust spells do nothing, by the way, in case you're wondering. You can Skyward Strike these to make it easier on your life, but... No. All those rubies gone to waste and all the red ones fell to the ground. That's very sad. Blow this all the way open. You have to keep an eye out when the camera shifts because you want to make sure you just hold the A button down. Makes it easier on you. Keep an eye out because these BMOs cannot be hit with their normal tactics. So, you can't do it. Meep. Very annoying when it wants to be. Okay. Aim for the left side of the actual minecart so that way you don't get hit. By the way, in case you're wondering what link speed is, well, lasers actually are lasers, so dodging a laser is actually very impressive. Alright, now you just want to run because you can actually just do this. Yeah, that's very easy. Doing this opens this. Alright, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, that was something else I had to deal with, so, yeah, that was pretty easy. Thankfully, I don't want to go into specifics about it. Anyway, we want to actually go this way. Now, a funny thing you can do with these enemies is actually pretty hilarious. You can blow them as much as you want, however, the skull does can actually be hilarious. I- get off! You- you annoy me. I was going to let you live and blow you off like a funny haha -ha joke. But no. No, no, no. The game doesn't let me have that. The game will never let me have that, will it? There. 
Now destroy these, because guess what? They're just hearts. And like last time, poke it. Only one can be activated at once, by the way, so keep an eye out. Because of this, you can't do much. There's something above us that you can actually use fire to do. However, right now, we need to actually destroy that most because it's going to make things very awkward for us. As soon as it spawns in, in about a few seconds, it's about to spawn in. No. No. Die. Thank you for dying. Have a nice day. Smile face. Thumbs up. Now, you actually want to wait a little bit and get over to where this other Gust Bellow location is because you need to blow this. Problem, it needs to be in the past because it's actually rusted at this time. You only get a small window, by the way, in case you're wondering, so blow as fast as possible. There you go. Very good, actually. Now, you want to just get it to come back all the way to the top. That actually makes it go that way straight. You want to actually deactivate this and turn it back on. That's the only way you can reset the actual timer. See? Very good, actually. Now, this is going to be a bit of a dicey situation because, A, this can be very, very scary when it wants to be. There's actually a bridge we didn't go, ladder we didn't go up to, and I would like to actually go after that first. Before we head off to the next part of the area. Because it's actually missable. We want to actually go in that store, however, there's something I will miss if I do not do this. So before we go into that door, we're just going to do that quickly. I'll cut ahead when we get there, because I don't think anyone wants to sit down, sit waiting for me to get across the bridge. Master, your wall is full. You will not be able to collect any more rubies than you're currently carrying. Just as pointless as the freaking Wemo battery thing. <laughs> You cannot get up here. Yeah. You're gonna have to wait on this, so just keep in mind. Now I'll cut ahead back when we get back to that door. I just wanted to show off the fact that you cannot do that because A, I recommend to not do it. And it's not me forgetting something. No, 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 that's clearly not the problem here. The problem is I have to make sure everyone knows not to do something stupid and waste our time. There we go. And open this door. There we go. Very good. Now, you recognize this room, right? You recognize a room similar to this one. You can't do much of it, and those things are destroyed. Steam will blow you off course. In case you're wondering if it does a hard damage, it doesn't, but the heat itself will be very annoying. Want to get them actually to fall on the ground, because it's actually easier to deal with them. Wait for it, because this is when your kid gets screwed. There we go. Getting rid of them is very recommended. Climbing this. Hang on. There we go. You want to make sure you don't actually get caught in that because it's actually very dangerous. Careful how much stamina you use, by the way, because this is actually very dangerous for Link because he'll fall into a bottomless bed again. And it's not fun to see if you fall down a bottomless bed. There we go. Very good. Hard again, not exactly needed. By the way, don't touch the spikes, of course, because A, spikes hurt a lot. I have not gotten a single thing from that. Push this down to force this all the way over. So, yeah, pretty easy to understand. Oh, finally, more bombs. Bombs? Do you want them? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. Hey, something I can't figure out why, why it does that. 
Now, there is one thing you can got to do, of course. You want to use the, the bombs because you want to go across this. Eat. Cut in there. You can do a trick known as with the beetle, but beetle is not recommended to do so for that because it's actually scarier than also doing it because it will blow it up eventually. It doesn't count, count the timer down. Oh, no, they're ancient relic. Nice. We're getting a lot of them like candy. Now, you want to go over here because Gus Bow this. Time shift stone. The entire room goes to the past. Yeah, the entire room. There are two ways you can go about doing this. However, I'd recommend going the top path because the bottom path is literally a death sentence. You will not do anything with that. So let's jump up here, jump up here, jump up here. Watch this. You, Vimos, and now you're on my own. Literally. Master, your wallet is full. Shut up, Vi. <laughs> All right, there we go. Made it across, no problem. Now, there are two ways we can go about doing this. We have to stay at the top back, though. Go this way. And blow this. This way, so you can actually blow it the way you need to go forward. The switches still matter, so keep an eye out. And another one of you. Another Shrobobe. Hit me! Hit me, you fool! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me, you fool! Hit me, you fool! There you go. You hit me. You hit me right. You hit me right there. Good. Now you're dead. <laughs> Uh, I love when Vimos enemies are stupid. Remember these. Boom. One, two, three. Remember that, obviously. More bombs. Bombs. You want them? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough of these. Now blow it this way so it carries it across. There we go. Very good, actually. Stay on the top path, of course. So let's jump up here. Jump up here. Jump up here. Bless the blue path. So we can go forward. <clears throat> Pushing to the pain. There you go. And now we can pull this out so we can actually climb up here at any point we wish. This is something we want to do. More bombs. Now, they're covering here, so, yeah, you want to actually switch to the bombs at this point, because that way, you can actually throw it in here. You're going to be requiring to use both these items at unison, so you get no problem. In case you're wondering, it's a mirror. It doesn't exactly tell you it's a mirror. You're probably thinking, oh, it's a mirror, right? Yeah, it can... What do you throw? Thank you. Motion controls can be finicky, but I'd rather trust motion controls rather than just simply swinging a stick. The pro control can work, but the problem is I just prefer it because the game play style is how it's supposed to be. This is how it was in the original version, and this is why I'm doing it this version. There we go. Now, there are two ways you can go about doing this. You can either use a slingshot, like so, or you can use a beetle. There is no difference between the two. If you see the other side, though, you want to match it. So, let's aim here. Excuse me, I said aim here. Two. One. Two. All three are correct. It's a mirror. A mirror, mirror on the wall. Who <laughs> is the silliest of them all? Me! I'm sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> I just have a tendency to do this because it's hilarious to me. There we go. And now we're across. Hang on a second.
There we go. I need to fix something. Blow on these. Die. Please die. Thank you. All skill. I guess you want to go as close as possible to make that easier to kill. So, we're good. And of course, this chest has to be the big key itself. Or rather, the sculpture. This sculpture is known as the Ancient Circuit. It is made of shining gold. It also looks like it may be part of... from something. The surface is in hand with circuitry. As a result of that, that gate opens. So, now we can actually go across and get back. Just hearts and these. Don't worry about it too much. It's just hearts. The game assumes that you get hit. Pointless green ruby is pointless. So, yeah. Pretty much. The way out here is actually the bottom below. However, it's generally speaking, there is a Beemos right there. You must want to hit you until you swing at them. And stabby stabby. There we go. Very good. Be careful of the steam. Trust me. Because steam will knock you off this entire path. <laughs> now, in case you're worried about missing something, thankfully we have not missed a single thing. Open the door. Now, like last time, there is something above here. So let's climb up here and climb up to here. There are keys. Of course. Don't worry about their different kind of keys, by the way. This case is still a thunder case. Found in desert habitats, these winged monsters are attracted to dark places such as caves. Their internal organs generate electricity for attacking prey. I have gathering colonies are active at night and sleep in the day. Those who come too close and awaken them fall victim often fall victim to attack. You defeat eight. Yeah, these electric keys aren't exactly much of Link, where are you going? <laughs> there we go. I was wondering where the ghost was going. That's a pointless red ruby that's gonna lose. There we go. In case you worry about this thing, it's not exactly anything. I always was concerned why it had that like that. Anyway. Open this for another red ruby. But unlike Sky Twi bleh, unlike Twilight Princess where it generally saves the money by just throwing it back in there, but it doesn't. So yeah, you're kinda screwed. Alright, so let's go over this way, because we actually have to go this way. So, let's just jump down. There we go. Beam most are not here. However, there is a switch. And there is this. Hello. There we go. There is another one of these. Swap this. Another safe station. You want to time this so that way you don't get hit by the gust winds. Okay, wait for the time to move forward. It's essentially just playing the waiting game. Alright, now it's all the way over. We can actually get across, no problem. And we also need this because A, this wall was blocked off by spikes. We couldn't get to it anyway. Another reason we couldn't get to the other way, though, is another bigger thing. There we go, we got across, no problem. And now we can actually go this way. Another safe station will be over here. And a giant electric choo-choo. Let's throw bombs. And destroy it. One problem. I don't think I need to press this why I didn't want to bother with actually hitting it normally. But I argue it's well worth the reason because A, I don't want to get hit by something electrical. Move this in the direction that it needed to be. So let's just get the right direction. I believe it was... Not that. Not there. There. Oh wait, I didn't know. I don't know. There's this. This. There we go. I remembered how to do that. Now, open sesame, please. The gate now opens, and you can even see time shift because it's not in the right time. Lots of sand. 
And a lot of sand, in fact. By itself. Remember those small enemies we fought before? Well, guess what? This is the third boss of the game! Known as Thousand Year Arachnid, Motor Arch! Swing the weapon incorrectly in order to hit its claws, because that way we can actually do damage to it. Get off! Come on, claw, that's claw. There we go, one claw is down. You want to hit all these claws, because that way you can deal damage. No. Oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to be careful when it gets grabbed. Oh no. Ah, get off of me. Yeah, it's going to deal a lot of shield damage, and the crab actually goes past it. So keep an eye out. There we go. Now you've knocked it down to a second phase. It's only by itself now. Now it's hunting on the ground. Use the dungeon item, and you can reveal itself. Okay, I need to use that potion right now. Whoa, no! It can use a stinger as an attack, so keep an eye out. Yeah, it's going to keep digging in the ground a lot, so keep an eye out when it's digging. It won't pop out until it's eventually going to get out of itself. There we go. It is probably the easiest boss in the game. That was one of the shortest and easiest. And dead. Yeah, out of all the bosses in the game, this is probably one of the weakest in the game. Physically speaking, because you're just dealing claw damage and then stabbing it in the eye a few times. Now we finally get the heart container. And the ground shaking. Yeah, the, uh, the mining facility clearly has a way of draining sand. And there's the final door we need to open. Good grief, it wasn't down here before. Now let's click our heart container and get out of here because we're going to need to get towards where Zelda is located. We got our heart container. Our life is increased by one and now we're fully recovered. Now we have ten. Open the door. Very good. We're back here again. Now, this is a unique pathway, right? Let's go and use the beetle. We want to get the beetle all the way over there. You're probably going to nearly run out, by the way, in case you're wondering. All right, we're there. And the hook beetle slams into it. They had to make this place incredibly pretty, didn't they? They had to make this place incredibly pretty. Ah. Uh, that sound sounds like a oh sound whenever I do this. It's hilarious. So, yeah, we're going to be getting across this no problem whatsoever. All right, we're done with this. Let's get out of this minecart and climb up these stairs.
course a good thing couldn't happen. Impa! Your grace, quickly, to the gate! Link! Link, here! You'll need this where you're going! Da 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 da! You got the goddess heart, but there's no time to admire it! Now! Go now! Now it runs out. Link. Protect Zelda. I will. You have my thanks, Link. Link. Hey. You must go now. Return to the old woman at the sealed grounds. Tell her what happened here. She will know where you must go. And know that we will. I'll see you again. This isn't goodbye, Link. I promise. Now you've done it, Link. I blame myself. I should have reprimanded you the last time we met, but instead I was soft. I'll take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for recreation. But next time, I'll do more than just beat you senseless. I'll make the affair so excruciating, you'll deafen yourself with the shrill of your own sound of your own screams! Now, Fyra, point out the obvious. I report, Master, I can no longer detect Zelda's aura. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer search for her with your dowsing ability. Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the Sealed Grounds. This corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose that we travel to the Sealed Grounds. Yep, we unfortunately could not save Zelda. Oh, hey, what am I doing? And now we have to actually go back to the sealed grounds and get to talk to Zelda. Antony! There we go. So, yeah, pretty much you basically ran through an entire dungeon only to not get to Zelda. It's a little saddening, but I digress. We could not help it. We had to stop Giraham. And let's go head back out, back to Skyloft. We've done all we can. Hi, girl, girl. What are you doing? What? You made it inside? You mean to say there was a secret passage I did not know about? Why didn't you tell me? Did you not tell me, bud? I was just about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find that the way had been cleared. I'm going to explore inside. I have to go back to the sealed ground soon. So it looks like I'm going to be busy. Yep, lucky implies. Now, we could take normal way. But I actually have something interesting to tell you all. There is something I managed to get. Well, not that. Coming, Master? Nope. Well, there are two things I managed to get, but right now we can't exactly access that for now. So let's go back to the sky again, and I'll see you all at Skyloft where we need to be. Because I need to use my money up from the current adventure because we have way too much. Blended. Do do do. We want to head to the bazaar. Because guess there's something else. There's something else we can do now. We have plenty of items. So as a result of that, we can actually start upgrading more. Let's upgrade our items because also a big thing. A big thing that we can upgrade now. The beetle! We couldn't upgrade it before because we did not have the hook beetle yet. We needed ancient flowers as well, so keep an eye out for those. 200 love it, that's enough for now. Alright, you want to go upgrade this? There's no going back, you hear? Go for it! Okay, just wait right here. Now, skip past this, of course. 
All done. Here you go. We got ourselves the Quick Beetle. It flies faster than the Beetle. Watch where you're flying, Speedy. You got the A button, the ability to speed up. Now, the Hook Beetle can be upgraded again. However, we can upgrade this right now. Yeah, you're going to basically be maximized the Beetle. All right, you want to upgrade this? No, going back. Go for it. Okay. There we are. Again, the Stamina Beetle. Tough Beetle. You can Beetle can fly farther than ever before. The Beetle is now maximized. We no longer have to do the Beetle ever again. We have to go back to that area again just to get a bigger flower. But right, net right now. But right now we're fine. Dust Relic. We don't have the ability to get that yet. We could get the best shield right now. However, we want to wait on that. Bomb bag. We cannot do that because we need to get more Hornet Lava and another Lizard Tail. Let's get our old shield back out of the inventory slot because we can't exactly do much. However, we have a Thousand Ruby still. Definitely enough to get in ourselves into their Adventurer Pouch. I'll say. So let's smack Beetle and get it in his attention. We can actually use a Tough Beetle instead of replacing our seeds. Holding the A button will speed us up. Also, ZR will speed us up. There we go. Very easy. We don't exactly have to worry about going and climbing. This is actually an easier way to do so, because that way you can go all the way up there and grab it without any problems. I should preface this, I want to get this done now rather than the next video, because A, it's a lot easier to do than just simply wasting our time. The adventurer pouch that we did not able to get. Right here is another adventure pouch, 600 rupees. Okay. Adventurer pouch. Now we have seven. We have almost all the adventurer pouches we need. There we go. Now, we can't get anything else because we got the Adventurer Pouch. We can get an extra wall if we need to, but we can get that from Gratic Gratitude Crystals. So, yeah, keep an eye out for things. So, let's just go out and land. And I think we're going to end this off right here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, we're going to head back to the Sealed Grounds and hopefully see what we can do to help Zelda well, she went somewhere else through the gate. See you all next time.